two, three. Three insights in about three minutes. I'm Drew Dinkelacher, president of marketingaccelerator.com. We're on your team, not your payroll. Today's three insights come from Matt Fisher. For 10 years, he was the chief creative officer at Curiosity Advertising, and for the last three years, he's been the CEO. Matt, welcome to three. When the COVID wave hit, how did you respond? I've learned over the time to play the silver linings game. So whenever something happens that's bad, your brain kind of goes into fear and fear and flight and all that stuff. Uh, I try to immediately move over into, so how, what good can come from this? What, what possibly can we do? Uh, that gets uh, into problem solution mode, which your brain loves, which supplies lots of dopamine. And, and because if it's chaos, um, you need to be able to be looking for those opportunities. And if you're in fear and flight mode, you're not gonna see them at all. So um, I always coach my team when something bad happens, the first question you should ask yourself, well, what good can come from this? That is a great perspective to have. It keeps people calm, especially oneself. So as the shutdown lingered on, how did you respond to that? we immediately started to draw up contingency plans. And so I really admire NFL uh, coaches who on the sidelines, they have all of their plays and they know the script that they're going to follow. And if something happens, they know what plan B is and plan C, but they also have their whole personnel and depth charts. Mm -hmm. So they understand exactly if somebody is injured, who's going to jump into the game. So I always take that approach, which is let's game this out. Let's look and see all the different things that can happen, uh, whether or not, you know, let's go check with our clients. Let's see how they're doing. Let's make sure we have the information that we need to be able to make decisions. So I really view it as a, as a strategic process um, where my job is to ask a lot of questions um, and make sure that we have information before we jump to conclusions um, or we make decisions that we might regret. Matt, you've been leading your team through a lot this summer. What have you learned about them? First and primarily, trust your team. Uh, there was a lot of noise this year with uh, the election, with uh, COVID, with the Black Lives Matter. And um, it was very difficult for me to think about how are we going to be uh, proactive in getting our message out in the marketplace to be able to win new business. Uh, my team came to me with almost a counterintuitive proposal, which is it's time for us to really to crank up our PR. Um, and we did, and it was incredibly successful. And we received over 100 million uh, positive impressions in the marketplace through industry publications as well as the general media. And proof that it helped us is we are nine for nine in new business pitches since all this started. So curiosity is extremely healthy as a result of me trusting my team. What a great example of how to lead through the obstacle that the pandemic presents and then following through to finding opportunity. Well done, Matt. To my three viewers, if you're still hitting pandemic obstacles and would rather be pursuing new opportunities, then let's talk about that in a 30 minute discovery session. Click the link below in the comments to schedule. That's a wrap for three. I'm Drew Dinkelacher on your team, not your payroll.